Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to another episode of Material Energy Hypercubed. Uh, I've been kind of preparing to go back into battle for this episode by doing a little more exploring. I know I said I was going to try and limit that, and I am. But I went around and tried to find more reward bags and I found a whopping eight more of them. So go me. And let's see what we get. Some bone shurikens. That's good. A wood cleaver. That's actually not terrible, but see, I don't want to. I don't want to use anything with fiery on it. Uh, so reactor casings. That's useful. A wooden excavator. Impulse plate. Bunch of glass. Zisto's battle sign. Nice. And cloud in a bottle. Oh well. Okay then. Right click to throw. This will spawn clouds on impact. Interesting. Nothing that we really want. I mean, the shurikens are good. And the wooden excavator. Let's actually repair that real quick. Uh, um, a crafting window. Right here. There we go. So we have ourselves a nice wooden excavator to go with the bone excavator. But we don't strictly... Well, when I say strictly, we don't really need those. Perfectly honest. What are these impulse plays? Use motion, imparts motion to things on contact. Interesting. So those could be really interesting for getting around stuff at some point. I believe I have more of those somewhere. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Oh, we do. There we go. Impulse plates. So we do have more of them. Here, let's actually sort this inventory. And not be an idiot. Throw that in there. That can. No, oh, that's going to go in the equipment box, which is. I've deemed this the equipment box. Uh, the brass hatchet can stay. That guy can go. And then the rest of this, uh, that goes there. Those we're going to keep. And the rest of this can go in here. Sand we want. That we're going to throw away. That goes. And the cloud and ball goes. Perfect. So we've got a few things to work with here. We're going to go back into combat. I've got ourselves some cobblestone from that sextuple that we picked up last episode. I have 22 arrows. Uh, I only made eight of those. The rest of them were actually from earlier. Uh, what else we got? We got... Uh, actually, I'm going to put these cookies away, too. Cookies. Uh, what else we got? Um, obviously, we've got our crescent hammer. Uh, so we've got the short bow. We've got the quartz rapier, which is 1.5 hearts. I'm going to put that away. That's pretty much useless. So that's going in there. Now, these are going to do four hearts for the damage. These are three hearts, so I'm pretty confident with those. And then we've got our badass sword, which does three and a half hearts of damage on a normal attack. It's got poison and wither, which is great for if we get a... I'm kind of thinking we're going to take this as a tank approach. Like, we're just going to turtle our way through this. Uh, at least that's what I'm thinking. So, let's go ahead. Let's get into this. Now, what do I... Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's not be dumb. Let's repair our pickaxe first. Yeah. And how many blocks do I have to mine to get you back up? Oh, 93. Okay, so we're actually almost there for the next level. Um, and if you've never seen level, I don't think I've actually explained the whole levels thing at all. Ooh, what are you? Yeah, another trophy. All right. Um, man, they're hidden literally everywhere, by the way. In case you're wondering. All right, let's do this thing. So the I, the the whole level up thing is uh, as you get better and better with a, a sword or a bow or whatever, you will eventually uh, improve their stats. So you'll gain extra traits. It'll go faster, shoot farther, shoot harder. It'll get traits like poison and wither on it, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a really great thing with the Tinker's Tools. It actually gives Tinker's Tools a much longer, in my opinion, longevity uh, as, a, as a tool for the mod. Because usually what happens is you use something like Tinker's Tools as an upgrade to regular vanilla tools. And then you get to a point where you are doing much better than that. And you use like RF tools or whatever uh, to do everything. But these levels actually make it such that they're viable late late into the game like if you guys remember hey there we go like what did i just get 
I just got reinforced. There you go. We now have comfortable. Uh, really, the only thing that's changed is we have reinforced now, which is great. But uh, I used a, a set of Tinker's tools right into the late game in Feed the Beast in the last season. Okay, so now here's where we... Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. See, that's what I was afraid of, like little zombies. Little zombies are bad. Little zombies are bad news. But all these guys are going to come in here. And we can just turtle this. And I can just stay in here and I can wail away at them. It was really getting bad. I can go off of this and, and grab one of those. Because I've got my finger on the Z key already. How's that doing? Okay, we're doing okay. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Let's take a breather for a half second here. Okay, that's getting a little bit ridiculous. Uh, is there a way that I can easily protect myself? And I don't think there is. I think the answer is get fucked, Drew. Oh, the bone javelin works really well. Ah, that's actually really good. Oh, hello. Wait, can I charge with this? Oh, I can. Ah! That's actually really good. Very interesting, too. So we're going to try and do this thing here. I'm going to knock this one out. Lots of, uh, lots of stuff there. Okay. Break that one. Break this one. Doing okay. Doing okay. Okay. So this is good. So now we're here. So this is my idea, right? Like we're just gonna go in here, we're gonna do our thing, we'll slowly but surely ease our way to victory. Fuck that guy in the mouth. And that's kind of the plan. Because these guys aren't so tough when you can stand back here and just wail at them, right? Uh, ideally some half slabs would be really good because the little ones can't get under the half slabs. Uh, oh my god, so much experience points. Okay. Uh. Everything's fine. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. It would be super if you would just go away. Please go away. Please go away. Oh, God, he's got explosive arrows. Okay, we're good. Motherfucker. God, these guys are, like, insatiable. They're everywhere. Hey, we, we leveled up on this. So that's a thing. Okay. Okay, that was close. Hi there. Okay. So let's now put down a torch somewhere. We'll put one here for good measure. How you guys doing? You guys having a good day? You guys aren't having a good day because I'm killing you. Good day for me, though. Great day for me. So this is kind of how this episode is going to go. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we will actually do what we need to do. Uh, I'm going to grab this. Oh, hello, chicken. Oops. Well, that chicken's dead. Sorry. Of zombie flesh. It's not really helpful. Well, we're gonna put we're gonna block that for a real quick second. 
Okay, let's try going. Sweet, okay. And now we can sort of go a little bit further out. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of my plan of attack, like I've said several times now. I'm getting into the realm of repeating myself. Oh, God. No, I don't think so. Oh, Jesus. Okay, if you just want to just want to go away there. Ah, see, then they get, ah, see, then they get here and it's like, man, come on, come on, don't do that to me. But, uh, this seems to be a fairly effective strategy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay with it. Okay, if you could stop shooting me, that'd be lovely. Okay, uh, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna go across like that. Come on. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, god damn it. There's always another one. Freaking zombies, man. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I can inch forward ever so slightly. Let's kill that guy. So what does this give us? Ooh, crossbow limbs. That's cool. An obsidian matlock. Really? And a battle sign. Uh, that matlock's going to be super useful. That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. A very interesting tool. The matlocks are great. They act as several different tools all rolled up into one. And uh, that's why they're cool. I like those. Okay. Like I said, slow but surely. All right, uh, I'm gonna. Oh Jesus Christ! Hello there. You don't belong. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I uh, do. I want to make a cut in the video real quick. All right, I'm gonna make a real quick cut in the video, and we'll be we'll be back when something interesting happens. All right, guys, we're back, and here's where I'm at. I tunneled. Well. You can see how many enemies are out there, but I tunneled all the way through here. Let me, I'm actually going to expand this a little bit. Oh, there's some, oh Jesus, God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let me go back to here and then there looks like there is, oh no, he's on the outside. Okay, I'm fine with that. So I tunneled all the way through here around the corner. Uh, past this one, uh, I did find a, a, a oh yeah, we, we were here, you were here with this. We found this guy uh, from this main point. So we tunneled through. I have fought long and hard, oh good God. Uh, and you can see just how many enemies there still are. Because this entire area is quote unquote unlit. Now the problem with that being, these guys are a pain in the ass to kill. And I've gone all the way this way. I tunneled through here trying to find an easier way. To sort of like get around them and like I, I dropped TNT on them, uh, which while effective, uh, just kind of made a big hole. I mean, I killed a bunch of dudes, which is great. Uh, that was a good time. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, didn't really do much. So I tunneled this way and lo and behold, I actually got to the central pillar area, which is this little uh, nifty thing right here. And on top here, now there were some bad guys up here. Just to give you an idea of what this level looks like, um, you can sort of see there. Like, there's a whole bunch of coal over there. I want that. Well, we're going to need Never mind. I want that. We're going to need that. We are very much going to need that. Uh, but there are so many enemies, guys. Oh, good God. Uh, what I'm thinking, though, is there's a whole lot of cryonite there. Now, that cryonite is going to be extremely useful for our reactor that we've got. More importantly, though, I can probably use that to kill some of these guys by making some cryonite traps and making them all literally walk into it. And hopefully while they're, you know, before they spawn, we can drop torches around, but I'm kind of running low on torches as well. Uh, but in here, in here, besides having some more chain, we've got a good reward bag. So let's go ahead and open this guy up real fast. 
Oh, God damn it. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. And we get... Ooh, that's actually really good. 2% block. Durability, two modifiers. They have luck, two attack damage. So that's really cool. Uh, what's our current heater shield? Quicksilver. This blocks 8%. Oh, never mind. We have a better shield. Uh, all right. That's cool. So we actually have a better shield, which I find hilarious. Um, let's, let's go downstairs. So if we go this way. And if you remember, we were on the bottom here where the cryonite is leaking out before. And there's all this area down here, including the wool. So we've got coral wool, which is great. We need this desperately. But just look how many enemies there are. It's never ending. It's seriously never ending, guys. Uh, I am i don't know what to do. <laughs> totally don't know what to do here. If I could draw them all down here, that would be super, but not likely to happen. What I want to do is I want to go after that. Get over here, buddy. I can kill you. Um, oh, see, they keep giving me, like, wither and crap, man. Which is super not a good time. Because uh, apparently having regular enemies was not enough of a challenge. We needed to have asshole enemies. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's see if we can't make it over there. And the way I'm going to do this... God, so risky. We're going to take this. And we're very much going to... No. Ah, that didn't work. I was really, really hoping that we could just... Oh god, no, 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 uh, no, fuck, fuck a duck, fuck a duck, okay, it's okay, it's fine, totally fine, ah, uh, shit, so what I might end up doing here is I might, let's drop down, here's what I'm thinking, let's actually make use of this, what was in here, oh, there's a whole bunch of stained glass, don't care, so what I'm thinking, let's, uh, let's go over here this way, like this and uh, let me grab a torch there so that we don't end up with any bad guys spawning behind us and I'm thinking that we just tunnel up here how's that sound to everybody because there's no enemies on this level and all these guys are on my side thank god because that would be super shitty if they weren't now, is this a tank, or what is this? No, it's just dark ethereal glass. What is even in there? Nothing by the look of it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pillar up here. And we get... Oh, God, the Keisha Wood. Oh, we need you. Everything else, kind of don't need. But wood we do need. We need saplings more than anything, but if we have some wood to work with, that will kind of get us by here. Uh, let's get the hell out of Dodge is what I'm saying now. As much as I want some more of this Surtis Quartz, we don't strictly need it right now. So let's, uh, let's put you on out of here. Uh, let me replace the ladder. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to this level. Uh, I'm sure there's more hidden treasure for me to find. I'm sure when I get some better armor that we'll be able to take these guys on and better weaponry. I'm hoping that there's better weaponry somewhere. Uh, now, did we get a... Aha, we did. Oh, we get an iron pickaxe, another heart container, and a miner's delight, as well as an ore finder. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is what we're looking for, guys. <sighs> this is this is going to be such a pain in the ass to do all of this. Let's go back down to the mid level here, and we'll make our way back because we can go to the victory monument. We can do our we can do our business there. But this is just like it's so insane for the amount of enemies that there are. Because I feel like we're still dangerously uh, low low equip here. Because we can, it's one of those, you know, we can make it work, but maybe we should probably have something better. Just a thought. 
Now, where is that cryothium on this side, I wonder? And can I get back some more of these? Oh, good. I can get more carrots. Oops. Get back here, you. Uh, let's just go with an open hand, actually. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't even... Did I see this over here before? Oh, okay. Never mind. I was like, all of a sudden, like, oh my god, there's stuff. Never mind. Never mind. It almost sounds like they're fighting amongst each other, too, down there, which always makes me kind of laugh. Uh, what is over here again? Potatoes and... Assuming that's kind of it. No, don't eat the potatoes. You need the potatoes. Uh, that's kind of it. Okay, cool. Uh, I will eat a cookie, however. All right, making moves, guys. Making moves. And the best part is we can unload this area. Oh, there's an idea. Could we unload the area and then... And I bet you it saves all the mobs. I bet you it saves all the mobs. Which is annoying, but fair. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's throw. Let's just let's just use our our AE system here, and throw that in the zombie heads, the coral. No, no, no. I need the coral wool. Wool. Give it to me. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. Yep, yep. That's the shitty shield that I just got. I'm upset that that's not a better shield, but whatever. Uh, now maybe, oh god damn it, I literally just did the same thing. Now maybe, here's what I'm thinking. It could be that we can use the acacia wood to actually complete some of those earlier quests and achieve some new equipment. But let's go ahead and put this on the victory monument. So we'll go to, where is spatial IO? Oh, well that's convenient, hello. There is it's Chem Lab Special IO. And the Victory Monument is there. Yeah, you can hear him just fucking everybody's day up there. So let's go on over to the Coral Wool. Yeah. Now, the nice part is, again, like we can revisit all of these missions very easily, which makes me quite happy. Uh, do I really want to. I don't know that I want to. I don't know that I want to load the next spatial IO just yet. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's open this reward bag. We get cooking pan of warrior Philip. Philippe. I don't know what that is. Writable oraclays. So we go. Yeah, we've got metallurgy installed. So we've got a lot of different stuff. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. We'll keep that. Um, let's go ahead. Let's harvest this. Qu harvest this quest. We'll claim this. So the iron pickaxe is great because we can upgrade this guy. How many do we need? 136. That's not bad. And this guy is much better, obviously, than the flint pickaxe, which is what we really need at the end of the day. Bone shurikens. We got that. That's going to go in our little thingy here. So we've got a little more health. Uh, we're almost dead on this armor, so we're going to have to switch to chainmail suit anyway. Uh, let's, let's take a look at quests real quick to end this episode off. We could make some charcoal, because we do have some wood now. Not great wood, but we do have wood. Uh, the skystone. Ah, see, we can't get skystone yet. Because we need, I think we need diamond or better for skystone. Uh, that we did. But maybe we can actually do this now with the stencil table and the part builder. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, let's grab that acacia wood and stuff, and let's take a look. Stencil table. Now, can I use this? Because this needs regular wood. And that guy for the stencil table, right? Okay, so we got the stencil table. Now, what? It, now let's see if we can make this work with the acacia. I really, really hope we can. Oh, we can. We can make it happen. Oh, God. Thank goodness. So that's our stencil. That's this guy. Tool station, part, there's our part builder, there's our stencils. Sweet Jesus. Okay, and my phone blowing up. Stop that phone. Okay, so there's that's great. That's excellent. All right, let's grab our... Oh, I made a stencil table. There's the stencil table in my 
My inventory. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. Manual goddamn detect. Ugh, why won't you? Uh, don't tell me I have to use oak for that. No, come on. Ah, uh, man. Man. Okay, so that's... That's a bummer. That That's a real bummer. Not gonna lie. Let's throw these in here. Um, well... That's a real downer. So we need to get that from somewhere. Interesting. I wonder where the hell that's going to happen. Renewable. So hold interaction upgrade. Grout. So that's to make our machinery eventually. My first alloy. The lavender wool is obviously our next wool. Um, Just trying to look around and see what else we got. See, none of these are actually Yalorium. No. Bronze Damascus. Septalian. Fair blah, blah, blah. So yeah, realistically, we're kind of stuck on this progression until we can get that to accept. I might need I might need to get some oak trees from God knows where. Um, what's in this bake to win thing? This was chemistry stuff. Cookie seeds. So how do we do this? Thermombine and cocoa beans. Repeatable quest. Compress cookies. Manual submit. Yeah, claim rewards. So the nice part is we can just repeatedly get some quest bags. And we don't actually lose anything. Hey, some more shurikens. That's good. Uh, what is this? Recutable double compressed cookies. D O U. Why not do that? Let's do that real quick. Oh, we need five. Oh. Cookies. So many cookies we have. We have 100. So let's make these into compressed cookies, first of all. Because compressed cookies are that much better. Everybody knows that. And where are those quad cookies? There's more compressed cookies. There's our quadruple compressed cookies. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we'll grab those. We'll take those quadruple. Break them into triples. And break those into double. And let's submit that. I'm all about those repeatable quests because that's just a repeatable amount of awesome that we can get. And then, what are you? Quadruple can best. Why can't I? Oh, claim reward. Why can't I claim that reward? Oh, because I don't have any quadruple compressed cookies in my inventory. That'd be why. Yes, I do. What? Oh, craft one. Oh, my mistake. Well, where are those triple there? We'll take those. And we'll just craft one with the triple. There you go. That acceptable? Claim reward. Oh yeah, baby. So this is this is how we're gonna like eat ourselves to be able to. Oh, zombie killer. Hey, that's good. 129 kill, total of 150. So this is great. This will actually give us more food in terms of just murdering things. Killing the weather. No, thank you. It's repeatable. Because eventually, okay, cookie jar is something we still need to do. But, well, I guess we can make that glass. Let's, let's do that real quick. Because we're running dangerously low on time here. I think that'll be the last thing we do today. So let's grab some sand. We have nine sand just to get that going. We'll grab, we'll grab one of our. Where is? Huh. Wait a minute. Where's the flux capacitors? Oh wait, no, they're on this one, right? Yes. So we'll grab that flux capacitor real quick. Throw that in the redstone furnace. Throw those in there. We'll make ourselves some glass panes. We've got redstone. I think the only thing we need, uh, oh wait, maybe I don't have any cook. Cookie jar. What do I need for the top of you? One iron ingot. Do I have any iron ingots? Oh, I don't have any iron ingots anymore because I used the one for something. Damn. Okay. Well, that's, that's okay. We won't do that then. Let's, uh, let's open this reward bag.
Ugh, we get another. God damn it. I hate when the game does that. Gives you literally the same reward. Well, nuts to that. There, that frying pan can go on the wall. Frying pans for everybody. Well, shit. Well, I guess that's the end of that episode, guys. Uh, let's end up in uh, Spatial I.O. real quick. We'll throw in the uh, throw the next room into the system so that we've got it. Miner's Delight. That can live there. And, uh, yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it for me, guys. As usual, if you liked the episode, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave a like. You can always find other work I've done in the description box below. And, of course, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.